We've got one more act in this section. He's a good mate of mine. He's absolutely class. Are you ready for your next act? Yeah. I will ask you again. Are you ready for your next act, everyone? Yeah. His name is Danny Davis. He's absolutely class. All you need to do, make him, make him feel super welcome. Start clapping. Yeah. Start cheering. Yeah. Give it up for the awesome Danny Davis, everyone. Yeah. Yes, are we all doing? Are we having a good night? Yeah. Louder. Are we having a good night? Yeah. Yes. Right, so I had something absolutely horrendous happen to me the other week. And I'm going to share it all with you, right? So, as you can see, I'm an amazingly handsome man. Now, I was doing a gig in another little bar in town, and I had this girl approach me after the gig, which doesn't actually happen very often, surprisingly enough. And um, she, she, she approached me, and she was Norwegian. Um, and we hadn't engaged in any conversation. I had no idea. They called me a little bit off guard. And she came over, and she, I'm, I'm going to try and do a Norwegian accent. Have we got any Norwegians in to critique the accent? No. Right. No. Are you Norwegian? Is she here? Not the answer to the question then. So, so she's came over to see me after the gig. She's approached me and she's been like, I'm gonna try to do the accent. She's been like, hello. So, <laughs> so I was like, I was like, oh, what's happening? What is? You know what I mean? Big fan of Norway. So I was like, what's happening? I was like, what is? And she's like, you were really funny. <laughs> and I was like, I'm very aware. Um, and then she said to me, she's put it fucking straight on me toes and goes, would you like to come back to my place? So I was like, yes. So I finished my pint and we fucked off the answer is. Now, we get back to where she lived, um, funnily enough, by the Adelphi actually, um, she, 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 she said there was some weird fella with a mohawk and a mullet. So, I'm not, I didn't that, I didn't. Um, so we, we, we got back to his. Soon as we get back to his, she fucking puts it on me, stayed to his, starts neck me. I'm thinking, boss, I know where this is going. I'm very familiar with this situation. So we started having sex. Now, halfway through it, I know, I've never been asked this question before. I've asked the question if I can, but I've never been asked the question. She turns around, there's the accent again. She goes, would you put it in my ass, please? So, <laughs> now, I'm a well-mannered man. So, I obliged. I was like, now if you want me to, Okay, um, but you're not doing it back. And um, so, so now, now, before I go any further into this story, and he's let us know a little bit of something about, about me, right? I've got this weird phobia. You know, if like sauce touches my skin, knocks me sick, right? Listen, I, 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 I got sweet chili sauce on my hand last week, and I was sitting there going, Bleh! for like half an hour, it was fucking horrible, right? So, uh, so back to him, um, back, back, back to our kid, Norway. Um, but I. Uh, we're halfway, we're halfway. Yeah, you see where this is going, don't you? Yeah, so we're halfway, we're halfway, but don't tell anyone if you know where it's going. We're halfway through um, through this, this uh, adventure of the anus, I'll call it. And, um, and, and, and I'm, I start getting a, a bit of a pungent smell, to say the least. And I'm thinking, and uh, Doc, it was a student's accommodation. I was thinking, someone's cooking something here, you know what I mean? I was, like, I was thinking, there's something going on here. Now, I've looked down and just seen shit. Just. I've seen, I've seen shit where you don't want shit to be, right? Now, I nearly threw up when sweet chilli sauce touched my thumb, right? Shit on me dick, I'm spewing it, you know what I mean? I'm fucking, it's like the exorcist, this all over this fucking thing, right? She only gave me two minutes to go and clean myself up, and then the cheeky cunts I walked up the toilet, not even dressed, goes, okay, get out. <laughs> So I'm in a taxi home at half 12, feeling like I've just been violated, <laughs> right? And then it got me thinking about just like sex in general. Now I think a lot of people, when it comes to losing your virginity, because obviously when, when you're still a virgin, you'll, you, you'll shag anything, won't you? I still will. <laughs> <laughs> when you're a virgin, you just want to shag something, don't you? I, I, but I think a lot of people, they have sex too soon, I think. I think they do they have sex too soon, and it ruins a lot of good relationships going forward in the life. Like, I've not spoke to my dad for years. <laughs> I just can't look at them the same, you know what I mean? It, ru it ruined it for me, but it ruined it. But the thing is, you can't win, because sex gets boring. But so does wanking. It does. Every wank you will ever have, male or female, is exactly the same. Have you, or you, or even you, ever had a wank? And then after it went, that was different. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't, have you? You know what I mean? But the thing is, your brain will do this weird thing. Do you know when you've been having a wank and it's took a little bit longer than you'd want it to? Say, you, say, say, say your usual expected like, ETA is three minutes, but you've been gone for like five. 
And then your mind starts to wander, doesn't it? You start to think about what you're going to do after the wank. Now, you'll be sitting there with a hand death, having a brew after this, mate. <laughs> Having a little game of FIFA and that, but if you ever have one of them ones, if you ever have one of them ones where it gets weird, your mind will start to wonder, and you're like, I'm having a little bit of this for your little game of FIFA. Remember that time your nan died, and you're like, Whoa, what the fuck happened there? And you're like, Whoa, what the fuck? It gets weird, man, it gets weird. One can take you to some weird places, I'm telling you. It does. It's horrible. Is anybody right? And don't be a, I always get people who are shit house of gigs and don't put their hand up or don't, or don't let me know. Who else here has been caught wanking? Yeah. Yeah? Big caught. Right, I'm going to go to you. What's your name, lad? Ryan. Ryan, is that you again? Are you Ricka Ricka Ryan? Is that Ryan? What's happening for the dead? How are we? Who caught you wanking? You caught him wanking? Are you his beard? And you're his beard? Get involved then, you cheeky cunt. What are you doing? Help a guy out. <laughs> I, I got caught, I've only ever been caught one time, but I got caught by both my mum and dad at the same time. Right? Yeah, yeah. Now, you'll know because you've been caught wanking. Getting caught wanking isn't the most awkward part of getting caught wanking. The most awkward part is figuring out how the fuck you're going to react in that situation. Right? Because you've only got two choices. You've only got two choices. You either stop in your tracks or you think, fuck it. <laughs> They're the ones who are looking at me. So I'm gonna carry on if they stick around, how fucking weird are they? <laughs> right? So my mum and dad, my mum and dad have walked in. I thought it'd be like, you know, a little bit awkward for a few minutes, they'd leave, I'd finish with that be tea and that'd be it, right? <laughs> but the pair of them were fuming and didn't speak to me for like three weeks, right? So after three weeks, it's getting a little bit awkward in the house here. I've got, I've not had my tea for three weeks, I'm starving. You know what I mean? <laughs> I've got to sit them down and have a little chat. Yeah, so in the end, I sat them down and I said, look, I know what happened was a little bit awkward, but fucking hell, come on, three weeks, like, it's a bit, you know, I said, I said, I said, all right, how would you want me to react in that situation if it ever happens again? And my dad seemed quite, like, quite shocked by it. And he said, it doesn't fucking matter how you react. He goes, you've already ruined your little sister's funeral. <laughs> sit next to me, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> is anybody here? I, 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 I put the telly on before I come out today as well, and the news is on, it just pissed me off straight away. Does anybody else give up watching the news? No. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's shite, innit? Remember the last time you watched the news and then after it sat back and was like, I'm in a significantly better mood than I was before the news. <laughs> it doesn't happen, does it? But I put the telly on before, and there was a headline and it fucking grabbed my attention straight away. It fucking pulled me in. It said that there was a man found, it was about 10 minutes from ours, who just been found and sent down in possession with 10,000 indecent images of children on his computer. Yeah. Right, and it, I was like, that is fucking disgusting, that 10,000 indecent images of kids, and what? There wasn't one decent one. Mate. <laughs> 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 Listen, listen, if you're gonna be a nonce, don't be lazy with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, come on, my ma hates that joke, you know. My ma, she refuses to come and watch me because she's seen me tell that joke once in Manchester, you know, it's fucking hell, it's heavy. My ma, I don't want my ma's boss, my mum is absolutely lovely. <laughs> Manchester didn't find it funny, you're the only ones who seem to like paedophile jokes. I'm made up. <laughs> I'm made up. You're keeping me in a job, yeah? Comedy, not paedophilia, yeah? But, <laughs> but, um, nah, my ma, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> me ma, me ma, me ma, me ma is bossed all that. Me mum, she's one of them people. My mum absolutely fucking loves animals. She, all she ever wanted to do since she was a little girl growing up is just like love and care for animals, right? Absolutely loves them. So she's always worked in vets. Ever since I was a kid growing up, my ma's always worked in vets. But the downside is with vets. You know the way when someone finds like a litter of stray puppies and you hand them into the vets? Nine times out of ten, the vets put them down because they haven't got the time or like the staff or the resources to look after them. It's dead sad. I thought you were grabbing my horse then I was going to go put it down again. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's gonna go out mine, but um, but yeah. So like, so so what my ma does, if ever that happens, like, right, cause like, save them dying in the vets, like, where like they're the fucking like they're, they're like scared and like they don't know what's going on. She brings them back to our house and like we care for them for like six to eight weeks, make them feel comfortable and loved, and then we kill them ourselves. <laughs> um, I told you, honestly, my ma's lovely. She, she's fucking lovely. She's fucking lovely. Um, yeah, she she she. <laughs> 
She's weird though, my mum. My mum is proper weird because like, my mum my mum will go through a bottle of wine of a night if my auntie comes around, but screams at me if I smoke a joint in the garden. And <laughs> she hates it. And like the other the other mum, like she tries to catch me out even when I'm not stoned for being stoned. Like the other day, it was like two o'clock in the morning the other day. I thought I was going downstairs and get a pack of crisps. Me and fucking starving. Goes downstairs to get some crisps. I'm walking up the stairs. And she, uh, she's on the landing looking down the stairs. And she goes, "No, oh, you're stoned, you aren't." And I was like, well, "What makes you think that?" I was like, "What makes you think that?" She's like, "Packed the crisps at two in the morning." He's like, "Ah, got the munchies, have we?" And I thought, "That's a fucking good guess, because I have." I was like, "I'm stoned high as fuck right now." But um, uh, the, the, the kid that buy me weed off, I'm gonna have to get a new weed man. So if anyone's got any numbers, find me after the show and let me know, because he got. <laughs> He got weird the other week, it got a bit weird. I went round, I rang him, usual process. I ring him, I go, look, what have you got? I'm after the eight, can I come and grab it? He goes, yes, yeah, so it goes round. And as I get to his flat, he says, um, he says, look, he's like, the one that I said I've got, it's not here yet, it's getting dropped off in like half an hour. So do you want to like sit in, we'll have a joint, and fucking, you know, we'll just chill for a bit. I was like, oh, whatever, I was like, yeah, Charles. I was like, Charles, so it goes in. He shut the door, locked the door behind him, and I was like, well, how am I paying for this weird lad? <laughs> I was like, I've got cash, you know what I mean? <laughs> and um, we sit down on the couch, he rolls the joint, sparks the joint, and passes me in. And he goes, I had a state of it, my half head the other day. I was like, you had a fight with your dad? He's like, yeah, lad, he goes, tried to fucking, tried to slice him, didn't he? <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, nice this. <laughs> and he just goes, game of FIFA then, yeah? <laughs> I was like, absolutely, back to being PSG, chance, you know what I mean? I was like, get the Xbox on there. So we're sitting there, now he said this weed's getting dropped off in half an hour, 45 minutes to an hour of roll by, we're on our fourth game of FIFA. Right? I've, I've been letting him win because I'm scared of him, you know what I mean? I'm like, fucking hell, lad, you're really good at FIFA, you only be in Burnley. And, um, and he was sitting there, I mean, he's got this, he's got this, like, this like, American bulldog puppy, because obviously he's a drug dealer. Um, and this dog comes over to me, I'm stroking the dog, the dog's lovely. And he, he goes, you know, after me, I fell he goes, yeah, I find it hard to love, you know. And I was like, lad, look, I don't care what weed you've got, just give me and I'm getting off, lad, you know what I mean? <laughs> He's like, I'm getting off, he goes, I don't even love me, dog, lad. I was like, I, I don't give a fuck. I was like, give me some weed, I'm going home. So I'm going to leave you that, you've all been absolutely fucking lovely. Thank you very much. Have a lovely evening. Thank you. <laughs> Daddy Davis, everyone!